friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a Target shop with me and possibly a haul depending if I pick anything up. So I wanted to run into Target really quickly just because I want to pick up a few more Christmas decor items. I also want to look around maybe if I can find any like Christmas gifts for the kids and Robert. So I figured I would take you guys inside with me. I also want to see if they have stocked the dollar spot again. I'm so mad at myself. I should have picked up. They had um in the dollar spot these flocked little mini Christmas trees and I didn't pick it up the first time around and I should have because now every time I go back they are sold out. They had like the other little Christmas trees but the flocked ones are all sold out so fingers crossed maybe they restocked and I can have some luck and get my hands on one so yeah I'm gonna take you guys inside today I was gonna upload a Christmas clean and decorate with me but that is a collab and my friend who I'm collabing with needed a little more time to film and edit so that video won't go up for another like few days but I still want to get up a video today for you guys so I figured if I'm coming to Target anyways I might as well take you guys in with me so let's go ahead into Target and see what we can find all right friends so i will be popping in and out talking to you guys throughout this shop with me video i would love to do it vlog style but stores are so packed right now and i feel so awkward talking so i'm just doing a voiceover i'm going to start this shop with me off in the dollar spot i'm going to show you guys what they have out i know i did film a target dollar spot shop with me so if you guys missed that i will link it down below but when i filmed that they were just putting christmas stuff out so i feel like there's so much more that i probably did not show in that video so i wanted to start off here and show you what they currently have out they have a lot of really great like gifts for kids and also adults like little stocking stuff for gifts i am going to show you guys in a haul a few things that i did pick up from the target's dollar spot i think are great gifts and stocking stuffers they also had a a lot of like party items so if you guys are hosting a little get together definitely check them out they had a few small cups and paper plates straws i even saw little bulb shot glasses which i think i also showed in my previous target dollar spot shop with me so yeah they have a lot of stuff especially crafts for kids if your kids love to do like arts and crafts they have a ton of different ones to choose from definitely going to go back and get some once we get closer to christmas maybe so the kids can do some activities i just have to check what they have because they have so many art supplies already so i didn't pick up any art supplies but they do have a lot and then this is the only pillow i saw with the star and also that one single red one they didn't have any other pillows that i saw also how cute are all these socks they're only one dollar some of them were for women some were for men and then some were for kids and i think socks are a great stocking stuff or a gift idea i did pick up one pair of socks and i think i'm gonna go back for a few more because they are so cute These little garlands are super cute to add to maybe a fireplace or maybe if you guys are decorating your room, put it above your bed. I think those are so cute. And they did have, I think, three different designs to choose from and they were probably $3. I think they were $3. And then I'm gonna go on to the rest of the store and show you guys all of these little cooking utensils were only $1. And I think they are so cute. If you guys know someone who likes to bake, you can make them a basket. And they also have cookie cutters and the cookie cutters for only a dollar as well so you can create your own little baking basket for someone that you know who likes to bake they have kits that are already made like these if you guys would like to purchase those for ten dollars a piece and then i showed you guys one more which were these and these also were like a little set and i think it came with an oven glove but yeah if you know someone who likes to bake those are great options now i'm getting towards the back of the store where all the other christmas decor was and this is the threshold brand and they had a lot of cute stuff a lot of it was kind of overpriced and other things i think were priced pretty good but yeah if you guys need some new christmas decor target has a lot out which are so cute i love the heart and hand line as well some of the stuff over there in the heart and hand line i've seen already so i did not show it because i think i showed it in a previous shop with me and they didn't have anything new out and they only had a few items so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch through and then i'll pop back in in a minute <music> So 
So I really loved this pillow right here. It says letters to Santa and then it had a little zipper that opened that you can stuff stuff in there like the letters to Santa. I thought that was super cute. So I think that would be cute on a kid's bed. I think they can write them a letter and then stick their note in there. I also loved those long wooden signs. I showed you guys they have a ton of different Christmas trees and for pillows they definitely have a large selection of different sizes. So if you guys need some new pillows for your house, definitely check out Target right now. At least my Target was pretty stocked when it came to all of their pillows. They also had a ton of really pretty wreaths and also a garland and you can totally use wreaths not only for your doors i use it not only to decorate obviously like the front door or a door inside my house but i like to use them as centerpieces as well like on the kitchen table or in your dining room table and i will put like a candle or a vase in the middle and i think that is so pretty to not only use wreaths as a door hanger but also as a centerpiece so i am now back home from target so i'm going to show you guys a little haul of the items that i picked up while i was in target it's not like a huge haul but i do have three little bags of goodies that i picked up so i'm going to start off with the first bag and i did have luck finding the flocked christmas trees in the dollar spot so there was only four left and i grabbed two so if you guys liked this flocked christmas tree at Target definitely go check them out because they definitely did restock because the last time I went they did not have any so I was so happy to find them so I like I said I did grab two and this is how it looks it is so pretty it's frosted flocked whatever you want to call it but they were five dollars each um not too crazy about the bottom part I might take this off and put something else over it or maybe if it's um a wooden bottom maybe I'll just keep it wooden but I don't know, or maybe I'll just keep it like that. I'm not sure, but I did pick up two of them. So here's the first one. And then I picked up a second one. So I think one I'll put on my dining room table and then the other one I might put somewhere in the living room or even the kitchen, but I just thought that was so pretty. Next from the Target's dollar spot, I grabbed these socks. I thought they were so cute. I should have grabbed another pair, but these were only a dollar and I just loved like the cheetah leopard print. So I grabbed one pair of these. And then also from the dollar spot, I grabbed this huge um, chunky pad. So it's just a weekly planner. It has Monday through Sunday up here. It has name one person who inspires you, list one thing you really want to do, and then list one place you'd really like to visit. So I like to make lists. I like to plan things out for the week. I'm just more productive that way. And my journal that I have now is pretty much almost done. So I figured I would just get this. And then I can put it on my little office table and write down things I need to do throughout the week. So, and this was only $3. So I only have two more items from the dollar spot, but I did grab another pack of these festive um, toilet papers. So I did film my Christmas clean and decorate with me. That'll be up in a few days. And you're going to see, I put some um, festive toilet paper in my guest bathroom, but I picked up another pack just because it doesn't have much 
toilet paper and I feel like it's running out really quickly and I just put it on there. So I grabbed another pack. This one has candy canes and then this one just says naughty, nice. And then I tried and it was $3 for a pack of two. And I think that's really fun to put in the guest bathroom and also the kids bathroom. The last item I got from Target's Dollar Spot is this. It's a wireless earbud case. I do have the Apple um, wireless um, earphones and I wanted a case for it because me and my husband always get confused on whose is whose. So I grabbed this so I can put mine in here and we know mine is in the case and his isn't in the case. I also picked up just a bag of candy. I love candy and for this whole entire bag, it is only four grams of sugar. So I like to grab these anytime I want candy. Okay, I lied. I have two more things from the dollar spot I forgot I picked up, but I picked up Ryan these two little ornaments. So we're gonna be decorating his room, only like two or three things of Christmas items in his bedroom. And he does have a Christmas tree. So I thought these would be cute to put on his Christmas tree. This one is a shark. And then this one is a pizza and they were both $1 and they're wooden. Next, I got some more lashes. So I'm wearing the Kiss Lashes, which I really love, but you can use any lashes with that lash glue that I bought. So I'm gonna try these by Ardell and they are Demi Black 120 Natural. I just thought those are really pretty. So I'm gonna try these out and see how they work. I got the kids some more of these like plates and bowls. So I recently bought them, I think, I think I got them three each, three or four each. So I went back and I grabbed um, two more of the plates and then I grabbed two more of the bowls and then I also grabbed a few cups. I love these. These are only 79 cents each and I'm trying to um, get rid of all their old bowls and plates because they're so old. So I'm replacing it with all of these. And now I only have three more items. Like I said, it's a very small haul, but I also got a few tops. So. This is by the brand Wild and Fable. I was originally gonna get it in a different color, but you guys are gonna see, I have another maroon shirt and I didn't wanna get two maroon long sleeve shirts. So I went with the gray and it has a few buttons in the front, has a tie knot in the front as well. And then it is a long sleeve. It's kind of like a crop top, um, but not super crop, which I like. So I just grabbed that top and this top was $12. So the last two items are going to be two clearance items that I found. So this is by the brand Wild and Fable. It was on clearance for $7.50. It's a long sleeve and I like that it's a little bit longer in the back. And I did get it in a medium so I can do like the front tuck with it. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. And then the last item I got is by the brand Who, What, Where. And this was on clearance for $6.89. And they did have this in white. I would have grabbed it in white as well, but they didn't have my size. So I just got this in a medium. Um, and yeah, it's a black top. And I just liked this little ruffle in the front. And it has like little round dots everywhere. I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. So I grabbed this top as well. All right, you guys. I'm not sure how I left this out, but I came downstairs and there was another bag of Target items that I didn't show you guys. So really quickly, I got for Robert some Christmas gifts or like stocking stuffers. And these two were from the Target Dollar Spot. They were both $5 each. So I did mention this in my Amazon um, gift ideas for adults and kids, but I didn't know Target Dollar Spot had it this year. So basically it is a beard bib. If you guys don't know what a beard bib is, it's pretty much a bib for men because men get super messy when they are shaving, at least my husband, the hair is everywhere. So they put the bib on and then it suction cups to the mirror. So when they shave, all the hair goes in the bib and then they can just toss it out. So I got this and it also comes with a comb. So I grabbed this and then I also grabbed this Fresh Kicks um, shoe cleaner because he's always stealing my cleaners and Lysol wipes and also baby wipes to clean his shoes. So I got him this so he can use to clean the shoes and he can stop taking all of that. For Madison, I got her this plush toy, which was $3. And she loves stuff like this that are super soft and squishy. So I grabbed her this as one of her Christmas gifts. I also picked up this little plant. I did buy this um, previously in another, maybe in another haul or vlog, or maybe I didn't show you guys, but I love this plant for $5. I grabbed another one because I think this would be a really great like gift for someone. I don't know who I will give it to yet, but super cute. So I grabbed that and that was $5. 
And now I think there's only one more thing, which is just a, a bar of soap by Harry's. And this is for my husband. I'm going to put in his stocking. This brand is really good and they're pretty affordable and they smell really good. So I grabbed some, a bar of soap, but now that is the last thing that I got from Target. That is the last item that I picked up from Target this time around. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me into Target and seeing the few items that I picked up. I will be filming um, a Walmart shop with me and then a haul if I do buy anything. So look out for that if you guys want to see what is out in Walmart right now. I would love to do like an in-store try-on at Walmart. I know you guys really love those, but their fitting rooms are still closed. So I can't do that. But if there's another store you guys would like me to do a in-store try-on, let me know in the comments because I really do miss filming those videos and just sucks that all the stores around me all the fitting rooms are closed. I tried to do one at TJ Maxx the other day and their fitting rooms are still closed as well. So let me know stories down below that you would possibly like me to do a try on haul in. And then if their fitting rooms are open, I can film that for you guys. But enough of my talking, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.